Hi hello welcome to easy classes this is ramesh i am a pc technician in this video i'm going to show you how to allocate extra space to the local disk c drive as yes, guys without reinstalling or formatting your windows operating system you can easily extend the c drive storage let me show you how before jumping to the tutorial please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon guys this is how you can support me okay let's jump to the tutorial to allocate extra space to the local disk c or to extend the local disk c storage space just go to the windows search bar and search for disk management you will find create and format hard disk partitions under best match result click on that now we are on the disk management window here you can see i have installed the c drive and d drive let me show in the this pc window you can see i have two drives local disk c and t and this is a getting full and it's around 44.3 gb in the size and if you consider local disk d that's showing around around 15 gb of space friends i want to move 10 gb of space from local disk d to c drive so the local disk c will get 10 gb more space let me show you how we'll do that so once you open the disk management there you will find the local disk c and t and other drives which has installed on your system as i told i want to move 10 gb of space from local disk d to c okay guys make Make sure you have backed up every data from the drive which you want to move some space to the local disk and make sure this is empty so once you made it empty right click on the drive i'm selecting the d drive and select shrink volume then you can find so size of available shrink space is 12 gb around 12 gb and we have to enter the amount of space to shrink in mb as i told you i want to shrink 10 gb of space so we have to calculate in mb right to do that open calculate later and convert 10 gb to mb so you have to multiply with 1024 mb so 1 gb equals 1024 megabytes so for 10 gb we have to enter 10240 megabytes let me add that here so once you add it just click on the shrink is yes. so we have shrinked the local disk volume d now let me open the this pc there you can find now the local disk d is around 5 gb only before it was 15 gb now it's showing 5 gb let me close the wind for a while let me close the windows now on the disk management again select the c drive which you want to extend the storage right click on that and find extend volume guys if you unable to extend the volume because it's showing grays and also if you unable to delete the volume just go to the window search bar and search for advanced system settings then open the advanced system settings from the best match result there make sure you are on the advanced tab under performance you will find settings click on that and again select advanced for performance options there you will find virtual memory click on the change button then untick the automatically manage paging file size then select the c drive and click on no paging file and hit set and say yes to continue now we have removed the paging file then select the alternative drive which are available on your system i am having local disk d and select system managed size and hit set now we have moved the paging files into the local disk d then say okay okay and okay now right click on the unallocated 10 gb and select new simple volume and select next and next and you can assign a particular directory name here you can select any name by default it selected e i'm okay with that and say next and you can select the file system and hit next and finish now you can see new volume e that means a new volume e drive has added in my system let me show in the this pc there you can see the new volume e has been added guys now we have created a new volume as well as we have moved some page file to the local disk d in order to work this we have to reboot our system once let me restart it's it's getting restart okay we have successfully restarted again go to the window search bar and search for disk management you'll find create and format hard disk click on that friends even after rebooting if you not seeing the extend volume option and it's grayed out then don't worry we can fix this 
To do that, open any browser and search for AOMEI Partition Assistant. Click on that and you'll find www.diskpart.com. Open the result. Guys, this is the free software, no need to upgrade. So click on the download freeware and again click on the download freeware. Yes, we have downloaded. Click on the file to run say yes to continue let me minimize the chrome browser now the installation has begun click ok now you can see they are providing some pro editions but this is not required in our case just hit on the skip and you have to accept the agreement and install yes just you can uncheck this option or you can keep it and click on enjoy now now you can see the AOMEI software has launched there you can find the system partitions on your window so we are having the local disk C and D drive which is around 5 GB and also you can see a new volume is 10 GB so now just open the disk management again right click on the new volume E which we have created latest and select delete volume and say yes to continue and say yes now you can see we are having c drive t drive and unallocated 10 gb of space now right click on the c drive and select merge partitions then select the unallocated space also that is 10 gb then save ok guys now you can see we are having the 54 gb of local disk c that means we have extended 10 gb of space from the other drive and you can see we are having d drive and this is the system allocated for recovery purpose so let it be i recommend don't delete this recovery partition so now let it be the window is open because some of the background works will happening so once you're done just click on apply and click on proceed and it ask you to restart into windows p mode or pre voice mode just click ok with the default option now it's merging the partitions into the c type guys this may take couple of minutes i will be back once it finished yes once the process has been completed it will automatically restart for you again it will perform so after rebooting so once it completed hit on the restart button so guys we have successfully restarted our windows 10 operating system and let me see that this pc there you can see before we had 40 plus gb and now we are having 50 plus gb that means we have extended the local disk c with more space from the local disk d guys this is how we can extend our local disk c by using disk partition and AOMEI partition software for free that's it guys hope this video helps you if you want helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon and i trust i will meet in the next exciting video like this till then bye bye